Woo! Can you ask for a better day in college football if you're an Alabama fan? Number one Clemson goes down to number four Notre Dame in two overtimes. Hello Clemson fan one, if you're watching this, your team played a very, 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 very good game. Do not get me wrong. And Clemson, still a top three team. Honestly, still a top two team in my opinion. And will still go to the national championship, but there's a new number one team in town. That's the Alabama Crimson Tide. Roll, Tide, roll. And then, on the flip side, you get Georgia blowing another lead in Georgia's style. Not being able to find a competent quarterback that can actually play the game of football. And getting absolutely demolished by Florida. Even though the scoreboard might not say they got demolished, they were demolished. <sighs> Can't ask for better days in college football. But first with Clemson game, I watched this one. It was back and forth, and Notre Dame would not go out of this game. They fought, and they fought, and Clemson fought, and fought, and fought. And it was just a really good matchup, and Notre Dame ended up coming on top in two overtimes. Um, do not blame this. Do not blame this on Trevor Lawrence being out. Trevor Lawrence doesn't play defense. Trevor Lawrence doesn't give up 47 to Ian Book. I'm sorry, that's just that's just not what no, Trevor Lawrence does. Uh, DJ Uga Lude, I'm sorry. But he played a very good game. An excellent game. I thought he looked... Well, not... I wouldn't say excellent by any standards. But he played a very good game. And freshman mistakes got to him in the end. He got sacked... Two times, and then it was fourth down, and they couldn't get nowhere. The sack he took on first down reminded me exactly of the Tua sack. Exactly of the Tua sack. But, uh, DJ, he isn't no Tua, Tua Tunga Vailoa. No, no, uh, no knock on DJ, but DJ is not Tua. But anyways, DJ, very, very good quarterback. Played a good game, but not... But Clemson had too many mental errors, too many mistakes versus Notre Dame. There was one, they got a penalty which stopped the clock and moved them back. And then they accidentally ran out of bounds. Just not good football by Clemson there. Just not what you would want to do. And Notre Dame ended up seizing on the opportunity and won. So congrats to Notre Dame. They played a hard-fought game. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this is... It wasn't even my team that beat y'all, but it see it feels so good to see Clemson lose. I'm sorry. After what y'all did in, uh, I believe it was Pasadena, or maybe it was Orlando a few years ago. I I I'm sorry. I just have a strong hate for the Clemson football program. After what happened in 2016, Deshaun Watson rolls out, hits Hunter Renfro touchdown. They beat Alabama with a second left. And then in 2018, they blew us out and absolutely embarrassed us, 44-16. to Yeah, I just have a deep hate for the Clemson football program. Uh, so, I I am happy whenever they lose. I'm sorry. But, congrats to Clemson. Like I said, they're still a top two team. And with Trevor Lawrence, they can be a top one team if they play to their potential and if other teams, <clears throat> Alabama, don't play to their potential. But I, I still believe Alabama's the best team in the nation if all teams play to their potential. That makes sense. Okay, moving on to Georgia. Um, <laughs> Georgia blowing another lead up 14 to nothing in the first quarter. What happened, man? What happened? You blew that lead quick. Georgia, 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 Georgia. Can y'all find a competent quarterback? If Sports Prod is watching this, I'm sorry, your dog's lost. Um, Kirby Smart is Mark Rick 2.0. Um, J why is JT Daniels not playing? Immediate thought. Why is JT JT Daniels not playing? JT Daniels is a five-star transfer, and I believe the best quarterback coming out of his QB class. Why is he not touching the field? Um, I have a hard time believing that Stetson Bennett, 
5'11", Thelman Stetson Bennett, and Dewan Mathis are better than JT Daniels. Is there something we don't know about JT Daniels? Is there an injury? Does Kirby just hate the dude's guts? Why is he on the bench? If JT Daniels comes off that bench and plays for Georgia, um, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Alabama. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Florida. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any team in the country if they want to. Sorry if I sound energized. I'm just give myself energized for videos, but they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any team in the country, in my opinion, if you put a competent quarterback in the Georgia offense. And the day that Georgia has a competent quarterback is the day I get scared. I said for years, and I said years, if LSU ever gets an offense, if LSU ever gets that quarterback, I'm going to be deathly afraid of LSU. Look what happened when LSU got a quarterback in an offense. Joe Bur the greatest team of all time. Maybe, well, some fancy 2001 Miami Hurricanes, but to me, the greatest team of all time. And I told you, once Georgia gets that quarterback, oof, um, they, they can be in the running for all that stuff. But uh, what, what is happening down there? What is happening down there in Athens? Uh, stupid play calling? Just... I'm sorry, Georgia. G Georgia fans, Georgia sports fans of all teams must have a very sad life to see the Falcons choke three weeks in a row and then choke to the Patriots in the Super Bowl and then see Georgia choke to Alabama two times and see our backup quarterback beat you twice, second and 26. Um, Georgia fans have a very sad life. I'm, I'm sorry to Georgia sports fans. I'm just sorry. But uh, I, I do love to see Georgia lose. Georgia fans are annoying. Not all of you, but a lot of you are. One of the worst fan bases in, in college football, in my opinion. Can I talk? No, I'm an Alabama fan. But, you love to see it. You love to see it. Um, when my, if, haha, <laughs> you almost caught me there. If my team loses a game this season, which they will not, we are going undefeated national champions, baby. I'm speaking it into existence. But I don't want to get too ahead of myself or count my chickens. If my team loses a game this season, feel free to come to my comments and trash talk all you want. It's what I'm here for. But uh, I'm going to enjoy this. Great day for Alabama fans. We didn't lose because we were on a bye week. Georgia blew a lead and Clemson lost. Just amazing. Um, so to so to two of my two of my YouTube buddies, Clemson fan one and Sports Pride. I am uh, I am sorry. But I'm also very happy at your misfortune. <laughs> See y'all in the next one. Peace.